What's up, everybody? Got to talk uh, some quick news here. It's going to be a very quick video, but the 2023 NFL All Pro Team roster came out. First team, second team. There were three Chiefs players on there, but there was one noticeable um, guy that was missing. And we got to talk about that because not only did he not make first team All Pro, did he not make second team All Pro, but he didn't even make the Pro Bowl, which is why. Lajarius Sneed, in my opinion, is the most disrespected cornerback in the NFL, and I don't even think it's close. So let's talk about it. But first, all right, so the all pro team, the roster came out and, you know, start on some good news here. The Chiefs did have three players that made it. You know, some of them weren't surprising. You had defensive tackle Chris Jones. He made first team all pro. Left guard Joe Tooney, he made first team all pro. And then slot corner Trent McDuffie made first team all pro. So that's great. I, I want to be grateful for that. But then I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't see Snead on there. So let's go look at second team all pro. I go look at second team all pro. Not only was Snead not on there, but there was not a single Kansas City Chief that made second team all pro, um, which was a little surprising. Mainly, I thought maybe. Uh, yeah, Sneed would get on there, and then Creed. So Creed and Sneed, I was a little surprised neither of them made it. Um, and who cares sometimes about these lists, right? It doesn't always matter. However, when you have Legereus Sneed, not amongst first team or second team all pro, like none of the corners there, then he didn't make the Pro Bowl. There's just something that is off here in my opinion and if i go back to share the screen i want to look at this so legerius need was fifth he did have fifth most votes among cornerbacks top two make the first team top two on the second team sneed just missed out okay so Traverius ward got fourth like okay that's cool i guess um but if you actually like look at this it gets pretty confusing. Here's all five cornerbacks that I want to look at real quick with you guys. Um, Sneed was the only one to not make first or second team all pro. Sauce Gardner, Traverius Ward, Deron Bland, and Jalen Johnson. All great cornerbacks. Don't get me wrong. But when you compare Legereus Sneed to some of these guys, um, it just doesn't add up. He allowed zero touchdowns while covering opposing teams wide receiver ones all season and only allowed more than 40 yards one time. That was to Devontae Adams. That's per Next Gen Stats. Um, he's the only one on this list to allow zero touchdowns. I have a little bit more here that I want to look at because th th it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Sneed's allowed the second lowest reception percentage of these five. He's the only one on here to allow zero touchdowns. He's third in pass breakups with 14. He has the most solo tackles, the most total tackles, the most tackles for loss, the most QB hits. He has uh, two interceptions, which is fourth, but Sauce Gardner had zero. So you can't just base it off of interceptions. Obviously, Deron Bland had five pick sixes, which is insane. You know, I'm not... This isn't a disrespect, like, I'm I'm not making this video to disrespect Sauce, Traverius Ward, Deron Bland, Jalen Johnson. Like, they're all great cornerbacks, okay? So I'm not, I am not, um, this isn't a disrespect these four. This is just a, you need to respect Legereus Sneed video. You want to see something crazy? Look at this. Out of all five of these guys, talking about what I just talked about, all four made the Pro Bowl. Guess who didn't make the Pro Bowl? Legereus Sneed. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll let the Pro Bowl pass because they combined fan votes in there. Like, he's not that popular because he's just quiet, keeps his head down. Um, but then no first team all pro, no second team all pro. I mean, this is unreal. You can go to any stat, any metrics that you want to compare these five, and Sneed is up there with them, if not in some categories up there at the top. He doesn't have the most missed tackles. He doesn't have the most, you know, a lot of things on this list. Like, it just depends. Depends on what metric you want to look at. And I just think um, this was a big miss. I think this was a big miss. And, you know, I'm not the guy to really get on here and and just complain if one Chiefs player 
or this Chiefs player doesn't get this or that. Like Mahomes wasn't on any of these. Like, okay, that's fine. Um, but Mahomes didn't have his best year for his standards, but Legereus Sneed not only had what I would consider his best year as a Kansas City Chief, but his, like, the best year of almost any cornerback in the entire NFL, and the disrespect continues. Sure, Legereus Sneed on this list, he does have the most penalties. Okay, I get it. He has, like, 17, and Traverius Ward has 14. But if you're going to base all of that just on penalties, like, that's un that's insane to me. A lot of Sneed's penalties are... Uh, illegal contact or stuff that's happening off the line of scrimmage because he's so aggressive. It's part of his play style. But dude, when you're guarding opposing teams, wide receiver ones, um, week in and week out, and you're holding them down to n very little yards, no touchdowns, like what else? What else can you ask for? So I just think Legereus need. I I don't I don't know. Like there's no real answer here. I just think he's slept on. The disrespect continues. And hopefully he takes that as a chip on his shoulder and rolls into the postseason, rolls into the offseason, whether he's a chief for life, you know, whether they sign him to a second contract, I hope they do, or he goes to another team and gets his bag. Like, I'm, I just want him to take this as, as a chip on his shoulder and kind of roll with it, man, because insane. No Pro Bowl, no first team All Pro, no second team All Pro. I get it. He was fifth in votes. And it's not to slight any of these other cornerbacks on here. They're all great. But, dude, Legereus Sneed, I mean, he's up there with the best of them. And I just think he got snubbed. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below if you agree or disagree on uh, Legereus Sneed getting snubbed. This was a quick hitter live stream. I'll be back later to go over final injury report and some more stuff. But thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I see everybody in chat. We got a couple hundred people in there. Just wanted to say hi. Hope you guys uh, have a fantastic day, and I'll be back in a bit. So, Sneed? Snubbed? No. Let me know again in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. go, go, go.